Picture this, a steel island the length of a downtown skyline, roaring across open ocean like a moving city. Yet the loudest things aboard are not jets, they're whispers. Tucked behind armored hatches and labyrinthine corridors are rooms with no windows, nicknames, or loose talk, where the carrier's personality really lives. Think luxury hotel meets space station, then add weatherproof attitude and enough power for a small nation. We are diving into the hidden guts of a $13 billion aircraft carrier, the parts you were never supposed to see. Nothing about these spaces is accidental. Every bracket, badge, and bolt answers a what if. Precision thrives best without an audience. Disciplined jazz, where structure sets the chart and improvisation lives only in contingencies. Before we begin, make sure to hit like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. Start with the shocker. Below the sun-bleached flight deck sits a vertical metropolis, stacked like a steel layer cake from bridge to keel. Elevators shuttle aircraft, yes, but secret life rides different lifts, parts, fuel, data, decisions. Doors open to hums, hisses, and the soft click of systems that never sleep. Each space has one job and layered backups, because the ocean loves surprises. Engineers call it compartmentalization. Drivers call it peace of mind. Imagine a racetrack pit lane that never closes. Only the assignments change. Seconds are carved into safety and performance, and every procedure carries a memory of lessons paid for in salt and sweat. Power first, because without juice, the world's fastest parking lot becomes a very quiet pier. Deep in the hull hum two nuclear plants the size of tidy mansions, wrapped in shielding, rules, and respect. No casual strolls, safety sets the tone. What matters for us? Those cores pour out electricity like a fire hose, running catapults, radars, kitchens, laundries, and late-night coffee pots without blinking. It is less a fuel tank and more a forever battery designed to outlast impatience. Think of a grand tourer cruising for years on one careful sip, swapping gas stations for meticulous checklists and sensor-watched bearings. Follow the cabling and you reach the ship's unseen brain, a suite of rooms where screens glow in perpetual twilight. Here, specialists fuse weather, navigation, and traffic into a living dashboard. Picture a high-end driver assistance stack scaled to the horizon, only with sailors augmenting silicon. Information flows in lanes, every lane audited so rumors never become routes. The vibe is calm, clinical, and obsessively tidy. Headsets murmur, data scrolls, and the clock never argues. Guesswork is treated like gravel on a racing line, swept away before anyone feels the slip. Closer to the runway, another buried cluster runs the launch choreography. On older decks, steam did the heavy lifting. On newer decks, Electromagnets deliver tailor-made acceleration that feels like traction control for airplanes. The control rooms are tucked midship, armored by structure and common sense. Diagnostics watch every amp and bearing. If a sports car dyno cell married a power grid, you would get this. Cool air, spotless floors, and monitors that do not blink. The craft leaves the track straight and true, a perfect hole shot engineered by restraint rather than bravado. Slide down a level and find the jet fuel cathedral. Giant tanks are isolated like cautious neighbors, linked by valve rooms where technicians treat kerosene like a finicky supercar. Pipes snake with color codes, pumps hum at measured tempo, and filtration rigs polish every gallon. Safety culture runs deeper than the bilge. Static grounds, spill barriers, and redundancy upon redundancy. It is oddly serene, a meditation in stainless steel. When aircraft need a top-off, the answer arrives clean, dry, and on spec, because consistency is the cheapest form of heroism. Across the passageway lives the magazines, where precision meets restraint. There is no glamour, just climate control, shock mitigation, and methodical storage. Racks sit on isolation, sensors monitor like vigilant mechanics, and handling rooms drill choreography that would make a pit crew proud. Procedures rule because predictability is priceless. Everything is labeled, logged, and lifted with purpose. Torque wrench thinking applied to an environment that does not accept do-overs. Crew life hides in plain sight. Step through a nondescript door and you enter compact neighborhoods. 40-person berthing instead of the cavernous halls of older eras. Triple stack racks offer privacy curtains, quiet fans, and small shelves for life's essentials. The design brief reads like a long-haul road trip checklist. Sleep, storage, sanity. Nearby lounges host Wi-Fi, movies, and conversations that reset the day. These are the humane corners of a very serious machine, proof that performance starts with people and is sustained by rest that actually works. Speaking of fed, the galleys are industrial poetry. Picture restaurant grade lines scaled for a small town, running breakfast through midnight like clockwork. Walk-ins the size of apartments hold produce, bakeries turn out morale, dish rooms wage eternal war on stainless. 
Logistics planners treat menus like maintenance schedules, smoothing demand spikes with batch wizardry, food moves along dumb waiters and service corridors that dodge the busiest arteries. In a city at sea, hunger is a solvable equation and timing is flavor. Down another ladder, desalination plants turn seawater into showers, coffee, and pasta water, minding chemistry like a laboratory. Membranes sing a quiet song, pumps thrum, and gauges wink. The operation is both delicate and muscular, a reminder that comfort offshore is manufactured, not assumed. Think of it as a luxury car's climate control, but for an entire floating address. Output stays steady, quality is sampled constantly, and the payoff is simple. Clean taps and confident cooks, day after day. Medical spaces mirror a community hospital in compact form. Exam rooms line a corridor, an operating theater stands ready, and dental chairs face steel bulkheads instead of skylines. Supplies live in labeled bins, cold storage tracks every vial, and training turns drills into reflex. No drama, just preparation. When life happens, and it always does, Professionals step from routine to critical in a breath, fix small problems early, and big ones rarely get a chance to introduce themselves. Now wander through the workshops where maintenance is not a chore. It is culture, hydraulics benches, electronics labs, additive machines for rapid parts, and tool cribs that would make a race team blush, all tucked behind doors that smell like cutting fluid and fresh packaging. Work orders arrive, gear rotates through inspection, and components leave better than new. The ship functions like a rolling warranty department with its own supply chain. If a mechanism squeaks, somewhere a technician already has the panel open. The printing and media hubs feel like a backstage studio. Maps, checklists, safety cards, and training packets flow from laser hummingbirds into collated stacks. A video nook turns raw footage into briefings. This is where clarity gets laminated. In a machine this complex, communication is hardware, and these rooms are the fit and finish. Fonts matter, icons matter, and timing matters most. A design language of discipline so anyone can read the next move at a glance, like a brilliant instrument cluster. Hidden inside the island, a glass calm navigation suite blends old school bearings with digital composure. Charts live on paper and on protected servers. Gyro compasses whisper, and backup upon backup stands in formation. Outside, waves argue with wind. Inside, the plot is smooth. The ethic resembles great chassis tuning. Nothing flashy, nothing sloppy, just confidence engineered in layers. The best compliment is uneventful arrivals and departures that feel inevitable. Walk a few frames over and you reach meteorology, ocean-grade weather nerds in a sleek lab. They treat atmosphere like track temperature and tire pressure, except the tires are runways and the track is everywhere. Models update, instruments sample, and briefings translate raw numbers into choices pilots and planners can trust. Forecasts become risk management, turning squalls into footnotes and visibility into strategy. Clouds get red like brake markers at the end of a straight. Data never sleeps, so server rooms hide behind cooled panels where status lights twinkle like city windows at midnight. Fiber spines run through cable highways, bend radii respected, connectors labeled with monk-level neatness. Cybersecurity hardens the edges, backups shadow the primaries, and power rides conditioned rails. The decor is minimalist, racks, sensors, and the steady sigh of airflow. Imagine a luxury EV battery bay translated into information, modular, redundant, and upgrade-friendly. Communication switchboards add the human layer, radios, satellites, and networks, each with its own etiquette and contingencies, tie the ship to the world. You hear discipline, not drama, clear phrases, fixed formats, confirmations that eliminate guesswork. Antennas crowd the skyline above, but the choreography lives down here, where operators blend technology with patience. If motors are torque, this is traction. Signals go exactly where they should in weather that does not always agree. Elevator machinery rooms are cathedrals of leverage. Massive wire ropes, brakes, and motors live behind guarded grills, tuned to lift aircraft as casually as a valet hoists a suitcase. Sensors check alignment, software trims motion, and mechanics listen with stethoscope ears. The whole ensemble works like air suspension for platforms the size of basketball cords. Fail-safes layer like pastry, brakes that grab, catches that block, and procedures that turn urgency into steps. Industrial ballet with safety shoes. Ventilation control might sound unglamorous until you see the scale. Thousands of vents, dampers, and fans shuffle air through berthings, stores, machinery, and galleys. Filters trap the sea's confetti, heaters and chillers balance moods, and pressure zones keep odors politely in their lanes. The crew calls it comfort, engineers call it life support. Imagine tuning the airflow of a hundred luxury cabins, then doing it in steel, at sea, with doors that rarely stay shut. Laundry and textile care 
form a micro city of their own. Industrial washers spin with metronome rhythm, dryers roll like summer wind, and presses snap uniforms into runway-ready lines. Repair tables rescue zippers and buttons with calm precision. It is the kind of backstage craft that keeps the front stage looking effortless. Morale often starts with a clean shirt and ends with a quick turn on sheets. The schedule is compassion disguised as logistics. Tucked away are chaplain and reflection spaces, quiet rooms behind quiet doors, no fanfare, only soft chairs, warm light, and shelves that respect many traditions. The mission is simple, give people room to breathe. In a place where schedules are decisive, these minutes are elastic. Conversations range from practical to philosophical, and sometimes silence does the heavy lifting. Steel ships carry soft places so hard days do not stay that way. Mail never lost its magic and the postal rooms prove it. Pallets arrive like mystery novels, sorted into stories that end at individual racks. Barcode scanners chirp, shelves flex, and cartwheels sing soft rubber songs down long corridors. A package can turn a hard day around, which is why this corner operates with holiday season energy year round. The workflow looks like a well-run parts department. Intake, verify, route, deliver. Tiny boxes, big morale. Damage Control Central is the ship's calm in hypothetical storms, a brain for emergencies that treats training as a lifestyle. Diagrams fill walls, sensors whisper updates, and teams drill until response feels like breathing, fire, flood, or fault. Each scenario becomes a checklist, then a muscle memory, then a solved problem. The car analogy is simple. Skid pad school for a vehicle that weighs more than a skyline. Preparedness here is a performance feature. Around the corner, storage worlds stretch in every direction. Food in cold stacks, parts in foam cradles, uniforms folded into code-labeled bins. Inventory management is a sport played with scanners and discipline. Turnover rates read like lap times. Expiration dates drive pit stops. Forklifts whisper, pallets glide, and documentation follows like a shadow. When a component fails, the replacement is already mapped, my mapped, staged, and smiling for a sign-off. Cables and pipes move through dedicated highways hidden behind tight panels. Open a latch and you see color-coded order. Electricity on one tier, fluids on another, fiber in guarded lanes. Expansion loops flex, hangers isolate vibration, and drip trays stand like umbrella valets. Nothing is improvised. Everything is interpreted from drawings that age gracefully. It is the opposite of spaghetti wiring, more like a well-plated meal where every garnish earned the invite. Training simulators turn routine into art. In compact theaters and mock-ups, teams rehearse everything from flight deck choreography to machinery swaps. Virtual scenarios pile on curveballs until composure becomes habit. The vibe matches a performance driving school. Repeat fundamentals, escalate complexity, celebrate smoothness, screens, controls, and haptic cues mirror the real spaces so transitions feel invisible. The reward is elegant execution when stakes are not theoretical. Security watch floors add one more layer of calm certainty. Doors badge, cameras notice, and access lists live in software that remembers. The goal is not mystique, it is accountability. Sensitive areas sit behind tiered permissions, escorted by policy and audited as routine. Even gossip needs credentials. The carrier is a celebrity that craves privacy, and these workflows deliver it without theatrics, reliability that stays invisible by design. Some spaces exist solely to keep the hull honest. Ballast controls trim the ride as fuel burns, cargo shifts, or weather nags. Pumps answer like sprinters. Valves move with deliberate confidence. Readouts make the oceans push and pull legible, turning buoyancy into dialed-in handling. The payoff is a deck that stays within whisper distance of level when it matters most. Consider it active suspension for an address with a zip code made of latitude and longitude. Not every secret room is glamorous. Waste processing runs a closed-loop civics class. Compactors, recyclers, and treatment systems that let the ship leave a lighter wake. Chemistry matters, contracts matter, and so does pride. The culture is simple. Do the right thing even when no one is watching. Gauges verify, logs confirm, and outflow meet strict standards. Clean operations are quiet operations, and quiet is the soundtrack of competence. Finally, return to the hangar, where all those hidden efforts surface as effortless motion. Aircraft roll, spotlights gleam off composite curves, and crews move with the casual precision of a team that drilled before dawn. Every launch and recovery is a sentence. The secret rooms are the grammar. Power plants, planners, medics, machinists, cooks, and counselors feed a single rhythm. Be ready, be resilient, be kind to the next person in line. 
The carrier looks like a fortress, but it works like a community, and the community is why the machine never feels mechanical. Remember to hit like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Your support means a lot.